let's continue let's close and here is main activity here is xml file here this is basically for design let's let me increase the font size now it's okay in design there is written hello world so basically this is a text you can see here in our websites we need to lay out uh, we we do layout with the help of HTML but here we uh, here these these are XML code in case of websites we use HTML for layout design but in Android to design activity we use XML codes so here XML code is written and you can see the XML version it's XML version 1.0 and encoding UTF-8 so I'm going to remove this text view you can see hello world is written here and you can see in design part hello world so this is basically this that text view is nothing but this hello world I need to remove this text view and just type angle bracket and press capital W so automatically you will get hints so here is so many hints I need web view because I'm going to convert website or blog into Android application right so just press enter now it's it is asking for width so of course match parent match parent means the entire width and again match parent means entire height I will take now I need to uh, to access this web view component means this is basically a resource and I want to access this in my Java code so I need to specify a ID just type I D automatically you will get hints just press enter and again press enter and give it a name so our, I, our ID will be uh, you can give any ID my web view this is my ID let's save it and just come in your main activity .java file and here you can see there is a onCreate method so this is the method by which our app will load or app first activity list so you can see the activity underscore main this is nothing but this activity underscore main XML file so in inside on create method this r.layer.xml file will load first so here I need to uh, first I will declare a global variable or you can say instance variable web view just press two or three letters automatically will get hints so web view and name of variable web web view web view one so this is my variable name web view one or you can also just keep it simple like web view so only wb here I need to assign this variable just type web view equals to I'm going to call a method find view by id so find view or by id so you'll get hints just press enter and r means resource and resource id dot is my web view so we have written my web view in xml file here my web view and i need to type cast this so here you can see one error just type cast it web view now error is gone so web view basically a class i need to call the um, call the methods of this web view class a web view is an object so let's web view dot get uh, web view first we need a, a web view client so I will call web view dot set web view client this is the first method and inside this we need a file you can see in a hints in web view we need an object of web view client class so I will write new to create an object in Java we need to write new web view client so object is ready now web for your web application if you are using javascript so we need to enable javascript in our web application so i will call web view dot get settings is another method right get settings dot uh, i will call enable javascript just type java so you can see java get javascript get javascript enable this is the second one and you can see in the hints I need to pass uh, here I need to pass a boolean variable true right so 
sorry this is wrong method that's why error is here dot set javascript yeah i have written get but it's set javascript enabled and i need to pass a variable you can see in hints here here we required a boolean variable so i will true it because i i will use javascript in my code web view dot get settings uh, in our web pages we have an option of zoom in and zoom out but in web application we don't have an option of zoom in and zoom out so i will false the zoom control uh, set zoom okay let me check what is the method yeah get built in zoom controls and here you can see set built in zoom control just press enter this is the method and here i'm passing a boolean variable false since i don't want to enable zoom in zoom on option right now i need to load the url w web view dot a method called load url so this is the third one load url press enter and a string and uh, just here is load your uh, we, i need the url of the website theme It's like sponsor website theme and live demo. This is the URL. Just copy the URL and paste in here. So now this is done. Let's run our app. This is the first step, right? Uh, before that this is our android package app folder inside that we have a file folder called manifest inside that we have a file android manifest.xml so it's uh, required internet permission right for that i will give a permission internet permission to give internet per permission right users permission and just type capital i n until you get the option of internet so our internet permission is done let's save it so we have given internet permission we have written java code this is the first step we need to do a lot of things let's uh, but uh, here i have written only these things i will do it so just uh, for now just run this app so here is an option of nexus s api but when you will connect your uh, your phone with the with your laptop or computer then you will find the option of your device after enabling the usb debugging mode just press ok so here is a gradle build running You can see our app is load but initially it has taken some time right and we can't see the anything any act any movement so it looks like app is not working well about page so again it will take little time so whenever we change page from one page to another page there will be some delay for that we need to uh, uh, for that we need to write some code to prevent that situation So here you can see here is our new webview client i need to write here give it here curly braces right press enter and i need to call methods of webview client class so to call the webview client class method just type here on automatically you'll get hints page so you can see the on page started this is a method 
and next method should override when during the page is loading should override url this is the second method should override url loading what happened when url is loading and then on finish on page finished this is the third method so these three methods we required so for this this is enough let's continue in the next part